it's giving us this milky effect move this pigment even more i love this wow how i'm gonna place my butterflies we still see the bubbles which are so important how about painting some watercolor abstract for change i dipped my brush into this gorgeous kind of greeny bluey color hard to tell actually and if you ask me marta what's your plan for today's page i'm gonna tell you i have no clue what i'm doing and i think let's leave it at that i think it's the beauty of unknown as well to be able to make something unique and different and we're gonna just have a play with the brush and water as well to see how things will be moving what we can do so i'm just adding some right now water into the page to make a little bit of movement with the current pigment that we have right now i put some tape all over my page so that way we are able to have this uh, kind of like a framed uh, framed picture i'm playing with the green that's kind of how i would love this project to be uh, play with the green and see what will what will happen and mix it all up greens or maybe teals and i would love some doodles i would love some kind of um just fun um ideas that will hopefully come once we <laughs> start adding things now what's that color let's have a look purple will that work i don't really think so how about a touch of brown mm, that could be nice but let's let's keep looking let's find something that will really really speak to us how about a touch of yellow oh yes the yellow and we can even do some splatters with it and see what will happen yes that's nice and I think even if you move with your brush, that kind of like unintentional, I'm going to clean the brush, unintentional in a way and just kind of touching and seeing how the pigment moves. I think this is the absolute beauty of this watercolor pigment that uh, this, this just amazing medium to work with. I love watercolors for such a variety of ideas that you can have. I think I would love to possibly dry this and maybe think about some kind of doodling once it's dry. I changed my mind. Before we dry, I'm grabbing white. Oh, look. And I'm gonna see what will happen with this white watercolor. I know that watercolor artists, they, they don't accept white as their color for their works. However, I find myself not a typical <laughs> watercolor artist. If I can call it myself like that, it's amazing if you can call yourself artist to start with. But do you know what? I'm okay to break the rules and let's just jump in with that white and let's see. Look at the pigment movement. It is just phenomenal. I love it. Let's have this kind of play. Let's see how the pigment will jump in in the wet surface and on the dry surface already because it's a different kind of effect that you can get as you can tell and i love that the unexpected part of it it's the best of all i think i may just grab tissue and have a bit of this clean off there we go maybe even here as well just a little bit just a little bit and let's grab even more of oops of white and let's see uh, it leaves unbelievable effects the white the white uh, paint like don't be afraid of white if you have it don't be afraid look look at these on the darker surface on the wet surface it's phenomenal honestly it's just so beautiful and it's a different kind of style it's giving us this milky effect it's giving it's giving us permission to play basically and i like that i love playing I would love you to just grab the paints and just go for it. Go for it with me, please. Um, I love it. What if we will add, instead of doodling right now, what if we will add some circles as our background? Because your background right now, it's really ready to rock. 
you can do whatever it feels you can do your focal point you can do some more background play whatever it feels now my other idea is to possibly because i'm thinking it's going to be my focal point and maybe a little butterfly possibly we could uh, use some water have a look at that and we could just play like this to have the pigment being moved there we go and have our bubble kind of more interesting i guess let's see if we could do that if we can move that pigment inside the bubble that would be fabulous i think there we go so the pigment is slightly moving oh lovely there we go i hope you can see that on the camera so i'm trying to touch all of these oh i love this effect i really love this effect now even more and here as well wow we can possibly even go with your pen more and see if we can move the pigment even more there we go so we kind of shading right now as well super awesome it's like actually it looks like uh, <laughs> like the world like um, you know what I mean <laughs> Um, like world on the map I'm trying to see where will I put the next bubble and maybe 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 here sure why not except that I need to move these things around we can add this bubble here maybe let's do that there we go I'm using a pilot GTX C4 and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be a little bit oh I thought I'm gonna be smart and that the pigment will only stay inside but it went outside you know what that's okay but look how fast this actually trick worked it's so much faster so much better we can go back and maybe place our next circle somewhere here and oops I moved that and let's try this again let's have the pigment moving here I love this even if the the water went outside that's okay we can actually try to do it's maybe even even nicer the pigment went under the stencil I honestly think so <laughs> so let's go back let's do the oops a little bit of doodling fresh doodling here around this circle and let's see um, if we can just move this pigment even more oops and see if this will go run even more super awesome I think to make this bubbles kind of more visible and pleasing I move these and I think we can jump in for another bubble how about if we maybe connect this bubble here I'd say so absolutely let's do that so this bubble go here plenty of plenty of drawing around it so that we have a movement happening I adore this right now and do you know what actually happy accidents where your pigment goes outside that's okay that's really okay once it's dry we can then even redo it repeat it however it will feel we have smaller bubbles on my stencils so how about jumping with this one here there we go oopsie <laughs> that's okay and let's grab water and let's have the pigment just being happy out here super oh I love this I absolutely adore this now I'm tempted to do like small bubble here for example to make the composition sort of feeling better basically <laughs> and there we go look at that super awesome beautiful and maybe on top as well maybe we can join them or maybe we can do like i know i'm gonna do this one here this one here even more actually and the water and the brush super oh i love it and th 
the small I think the small we need oops, we need the smally smally ones because they will just make everything look I don't know just nicer I think water and that's it super and let's go back with the smally here as well the small little uh, bubbles they're gonna just make it all more visualizing please visually pleasing there we go I love this wow now we could do a little bit of a trick as well and have the white watercolor jump in here a little bit so that we'll see them slightly better there we go oops that went a bit too far let's quickly fix that no nothing that we can't fix and how about adding this one here as well just a little bit yes i know we're kind of destroying the idea of our beautiful background but then we still have the background around it and all the, the thing is that we now have the visual effect of bubbles striking out more from the background i think and we kind of create a shades for it i love it so much now this went a little too far so we can just have this fixed there we go maybe even like that and voila i love it we do some splashes as well but i think also once we dry we can maybe go back a little bit and fix and fix these how about adding slightly more <clears throat> slightly it's early morning guys <laughs> so my voice haven't wake up yet uh, even more i need some water in there i I adore this planets oh planet earth that's what I meant planet earth Marta English English <laughs> oh, I love this so beautiful do you know what I miss this kind of abstract background and um, possible maybe some I actually got these ready because I thought they could be so cute life is a journey and never give up and some butterfly in it I think it's gonna be super awesome let's try that a little lesson about how I'm gonna place my butterflies the normal choice I felt yes this uh, beautiful tealish color so how about having teal butterflies there you go some kind of greeny as well maybe gray super but you know what I was mixing and matching all these butterflies, changing them, doubling them and everything. I was like trying different things. I eventually somehow maybe liked the idea like here, for example, but it just felt awkward with this middle part because this bubble is so big. I said, it has to be bigger butterfly. It just can't be like that. I was swapping and thinking and making two or which it just did not feel right until I found first the blue butterfly and I felt that's better because it's bigger and all and I just like yeah maybe maybe but it still didn't feel right until I found this butterfly and look it instantly it felt good because there is a contrast of color um, but not as big as the blue one the blue one seems to be like really popping up all over the popping up all over the place like not really matchy matchy this because it's yellow it's kind of complementing with the background yet it is different it is standing out so keeping the grace with it as well just felt right my only uh, thought was where will i place these gray butterflies it just felt better with this one bigger butterflies big butterfly because the bubble is so big and i think i think i'm gonna just finish up with this kind of composition so where we have double of these gray butterflies in here and the middle one the yellow and hopefully some sayings I, I think I'm gonna skip the black one look it just feels a little bit nicer like the page is bright and this dark now that I see it's kind of too much striking too much stripey so I think going for a few of these but shorter maybe um let's see what we have like there's tons there's so much to choose learn to fly journal we could put it here I, I don't know just you know life is good well not this time <laughs> maybe does not go with me always with you um i don't know maybe maybe a special catch a moment oh i like that catch a moment learn to fly journal maybe something of this sort i love that I'm looking at the camera because a lot of times it's different when I look like here now or if I'm looking through the camera viewer I like that however I'm maybe missing one there no no do you know what 
I'm happy with this. I'm actually very happy with this. I have my hot glue gun ready to rock here with us and I'm gonna just jump in and add it up. Um, as you can tell, choice of your embellishments, of your focal point, it's quite important, I must say. I'm gonna put it lower so we can still see the bubble, which is cute. It's important, it really makes the page, like, you can have amazing background, but it's the eye-catching um, center a, a lot of times eye-catching um, part of your focal point is important that it's actually drawing our attention so I think it's quite quite important at least for my eyes to have a lovely uh, idea for um, for a focal point and like in here the size mattered and it I thought this before that um, it just didn't feel right with some of the um, sometimes with some of the pages where the focal point was just too small for the page and it's okay to change it move it around and see what's working best for you guys so there we go I love that now what's last left is that we need to glue down this here love it I love the 3d effect that we had doubled up this butterflies the gray ones oops this moved a little bit that's okay I love it so we still see the bubbles which are so important in the project we still see the gorgeous absolutely gorgeousness background uh, we still have the butterflies and all I think it's just right it feels really right as the final touch I think I would love for a little bit of blacky splashes like darker splashes so let's see if this one is dark because sometimes on the on the paints you can't tell <laughs> I nearly dipped it in my coffee yet again let's grab some of that dark and I'm gonna focus in a few places so let's say maybe like here and maybe like here and here that's it I love that maybe more oops no I don't like that gray 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 little dot there we go let's redo that pigment more pigment let's not have the Splash. Oh, I love it so much. How about a touch of white splashes, guys? You know me and the white splashes, right? It's just what we need sometimes or always. <laughs> or always. A little bit of white going on here, especially in the darker places, like the darker, oopsie, like the darker um, background part. I'm gonna clean this off. There we go. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna take this off because we don't need this big blob of white. Most definitely. We can call this one done and finished. I may take the tapes off. Oops. Oops the butterfly wing there. Now, there we go. I think it's a very pretty page and it really reminds me of our old times favorite projects of mine that we both loved honestly it feels like in old times really maybe even just better just <laughs> updated version my beautiful friends i really hope this was inspirational special i really hope you will play with your play blood <laughs> play with your watercolors honestly i have 45 minutes left before i pick up hannah from school so i'm gonna jump in right back put my other page here and start with the background with the watercolors because i think it's just fantastic so thank you so much have a lovely day and i'll chat to you soon bye for now bye bye